Hey guys, welcome back to the video. Welcome to House Heart Home. If you're new here, my name is Sahana. Welcome. And today's video is going to be a meal prepping and planning video. So we've got 25 pounds of tomatoes and onions. So I'm just going to be doing like a basic curry masala and then keep it in the freezer so whenever I want to make curries it's ready to go it just takes me 15 minutes to put a curry together if that masala is there and then doing a few more things dishes so if you want to watch this then stay tuned so here Rania is helping me wipe all the washed tomatoes that I'm going to be using to prepare show me Isa. yeah and I said the tomatoes Mama. And here in this big pot I've got some oil and added all the onions chopped up there's more coming and I'm adding it and just cooking it up till it browns nicely and then all these tomatoes that we have are going to go in the food processor next and then get pulsed up it almost comes like a tomato puree a paste and then add this in once the onions are very nicely cooked I'll add ginger garlic paste and then add the tomatoes in and make this yummy masala with spices. So here almost after 20 minutes the onions are nicely browning and they've softened up. You have to constantly keep an eye on it even though it's on low to medium flame so that it doesn't burn otherwise the bottom will burn. And I have this in a thick bottomed heavy base pan see on the sides all the oils are releasing so all of the water of the onions is all cooked up and evaporated and the oils are releasing this is the time that i'll be adding a ginger garlic paste to this now usually i have homemade ready but i had this jar uh, of paste so i'll be using this you can pulse up some equal quantities of ginger and garlic to get this paste if you don't have a bottle so i'm going to put quite a few tablespoons in there Meanwhile, as all this prep was going in the kitchen, I wanted to show you guys a view of how it was looking outside. This is our back deck in our backyard, fully covered with snow. It was sunny, but don't let the sunshine deceive you guys. We had minus 30 temperatures, minus 30 to minus 40 it touched. And we were just really cold, lots of snowfall. Our friend is shoveling here for us and uh, we had lots of snow and also very chilly. So here it is, the ginger garlic paste for another 10 minutes. Keep frying it nicely. Now this is the time the un tomatoes can go in. So tomatoes are ready to be added. Now this whole mixture to cook down takes quite a bit of time from start to finish. So make sure you're not chopping each and every onion and tomato single individually but have a food processor and just pulse it all up. But I wanted to say that this process will take quite a while, a few couple of hours. But it's worth it because when you want to make curries every single day, it's so much quicker and you save up all that time on a daily basis. So after another 30 minutes or so, the tomato has reduced so much, all the water has gone. At this time, we add in the spices, cumin powder, coriander seed powder, and garam masala, which is a mixture of hot spices. So add all these in according to your taste, and that's it. You let it cook for some more time, and it's ready to go in containers. So here I have boxed it up in small little airtight containers. So each one of these containers will be for one curry at one time. So this is an easy way to store for me. Of course, you can freeze them like in ice cube trays. And once they're frozen, you can take them out and put it in Ziploc bags. 
or you can spread them out on a sheet let them freeze and then break them into small little chunks and freeze them that way too so there are many different ways i like to do this it's just easy for me take one box at a time thaw it out or just 30 seconds in the microwave it'll come come out of the box and i can put it in a hot pan and add whatever vegetables or meat a chicken fish eggs uh, you know and then over it i can add some cashew paste for a cashew curry coconut milk for a coconut based curry so on and so forth like there are endless ways to use this curry base so i hope you like this I'll definitely try this out So here are the masalas or different spices that I'm roasting up for this chole curry. And here is the chickpeas. I've soaked it overnight and I've boiled it in a pressure cooker. You can do it in an instant pot. And I've boiled it for like 10 to 15 whistles till it's tender, soft and mushy. I've also added a dry gooseberry or amla to this and a couple of tea bags. That's right, black tea bags. Uh, so that's what gives it this dark rich color and the amla gives it the sourness so uh, if you don't have those two it's optional you can just boil it with salt uh, and uh, till it's tender like this and then we roast up the spices don't let them burn you have to keep an eye on them once they are nice and roasted we grind it to a fine powder and then the base for the chickpea curry is this onion, tomato, ginger, garlic mixture. So as it was already simmering, what I did was I took two ladlefuls of that mixture into another pot and I'm having that simmer down till the water evaporates nicely. So it's less quantity, it'll soon cook soon enough than the big quantity. So here is the masala powder finely ground um, and this smells Oh, so good. I just love the smell of freshly ground spices. It's the best thing, really. And uh, the curry turns out so much better than using a packaged powder. So if you have time to grind fresh, then please go ahead and do it. Otherwise, you can buy a packet of chole masala uh, from the store pre-made curry so here the water is all evaporated you can add some turmeric powder too to this uh, mixture as it's cooking down you can see the big pot it still takes a while but in the smaller pot um, it simmered down so so much quicker so now all the ground spices go into this mixture oh yeah before that uh, we i'm gonna add some green chilies and coriander leaves these are optional again i like spice a lot so i'm adding this um, but it's optional so these spices go in and then the chickpeas so Every single recipe, the whole recipe with uh, measurements is down in the description box below. It's that small little tiny arrow uh, that's facing down below, like beside my video title. So if you click that, it'll kind of drop down the box and then you can see all the recipes in there, details, my other video links, all of that. So if you're wondering where that description box is, that's where it is. So after two minutes of sauteing this, the chickpeas go in uh, and then mash some of the chickpeas. You can add more water if you like more of the gravy or if you want it to be thick, then you can keep it that way. But mash some of the chickpeas, add, check salt and add more salt if you like once you add the water and uh, let it simmer for five minutes and it's ready. You can have it with chapatis, rotis, naan. Up, you know jeera rice and on this day i made something called bagara rice it's another south indian hyderabadi special i'll post that recipe sometime but uh, we enjoyed it so much it was so yummy and uh, my mouth is watering as i'm doing this voiceover looking at this curry you got to try this uh, chickpea curry guys it's yummy it hits all the right spots spicy and amazing I love this next recipe so you add some onions slit lengthwise saute it well and once it's nicely cooked add in the tomatoes chopped up tomatoes so I've taken I think one big onion here and two big tomatoes 
and here are some spices that I have roasted lightly and I'm grinding it with a little bit of coconut, grated co coconut and also ginger garlic paste. I've added some frozen peas to the onion tomato mixture that's cooking. I've added also a piece of star anise and uh, salt and turmeric. So that's nicely cooked down. Now I add in the ground masala paste and I have some two cups of basmati rice or sona masuri rice soaking for half an hour. So next I'm going to add that rice in and the necessary water. So all of the measurements and the whole recipe is down in the description box linked below. So definitely check that out. This turned out amazing. I love tomato peas pulao. Oh, mouth watering and smells great. Spicy, tangy, just perfect. So definitely try it. So here I have one kg of tomatoes that I'm chopping up. Now this recipe is a tried and tested true recipe. It's older than me. So before my mom got married, she attended a food preservation course. So there she learned this recipe. And when I said, I want, I have lots of tomatoes. I need to use it up. Send me some recipes. She took a picture of her handwritten recipe and sent it to me. Again, food recipe will be down in the description box. This turned out amazing. I love tomato pickles with chapatis, dosa, idli. Uh, even like with hot rice and ghee it's just amazing this recipe is definitely a keeper for me I've already written it down in my recipe box and kept it and I have lots more tomatoes so I'll be making more of this I wanted to try uh, just a small batch to see if I like the recipe and the taste and once I tried it I loved it I'm gonna make more of these and keep it now uh, as you can see I've taken a very shallow pan so that's a mistake I did all the oil was spluttering out everywhere so i had to change in, into another pan a wider and a deeper pan so uh, yeah always take a thick bottom vessel because um, this will be cooking for a long time so you don't want anything to get burnt and uh, yeah all the spices in this just were perfect the measurements were great like i just love this recipe and i was licking it like just licking it. Um, so definitely check out the recipe down below. You can alter the spices if you don't like it too spicy. And uh, this is my last recipe, guys. I'm so glad you clicked on this video to watch it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Share it on your food groups on WhatsApp and Facebook. And please subscribe down below. Follow me on Instagram too to know lots of behind the scenes posts and uh, family stories and stuff. And until I see you in my next video, fill your home with lots of love. Bye guys.